I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling Hi guys, welcome or welcome back if you are new here, click the subscribe button Also if you are new here, hi hello, my name is Kayla And today I'm going to be doing a little life update I have not posted on this channel in about three weeks So I think a little life update is kind of permitted at this point Um I believe the last time I left you guys off was like the middle of August. So it's now almost October. And um, if you guys didn't know, I do pre-film my videos in order to have them posted on time. But so yeah, here's a little life update. It's been absolutely chaotic and life has just been crazy lately um I don't know if I talked about this but Brayden got his vasectomy um I will not be really a sneezing um I won't be really talking about that just because that's that's like his his thing um but yeah, I just kind of wanted to talk about that for a minute. He did get his vasectomy, so no more babies for us. Yay. Rayleigh is our last baby. I'm actually really happy about it. Um, I know a lot of people were trying to like guilt trip me into another baby, and it's just not us. We don't want a fourth um, for us. And having four babies come out of my body just seems like a lot um the fact of like even the thought of having another child having another pregnancy finding out i'm pregnant again having another birth after my birth trauma um is a lot and i just don't want to ever think about that um it does take about three months for it to completely work um, so yeah, we still have until like the end of November, beginning of December until he has his, um, follow-up analysis. So that's kind of all that I'm going to say about that. But yeah, so he got his vasectomy. All of that went great. He actually got to stay home with, home with us for a week and it was like really, really, really nice. He actually had kind of a tough recovery, um, we thought that it was only going to be like two days back to normal. He was, it was like five days that he was like hurting. So, I mean, I don't blame the dude. I've had three children come out of my vagine and kind of the same, you know? Uh, so I, I get it, dude. I get it. After every baby, I've had to put stuff down there to make it not hurt. And I am so happy that he was able to do that because vasectomies are less invasive than getting your tubes tied, getting a hysterectomy. Um, I've had a couple people ask me for like an update on that because I did want to get a hysterectomy last year. <sighs> I'm still debating. Um, I'm going to see how my body is, see how my endometriosis is. Um, I'm going to give it like a full year to really see what I want to do. I want to see how my prolapse is doing after a year. Um, I actually do want to go to PT for my, um, prolapse. If you guys didn't know, in order to get a hysterectomy, for a prolapse you have to do PT before they can even approve you to get a hysterectomy so that is what I will be doing um, this coming year is doing some PT and just trying to like make my prolapse not so prolapsy um, you guys didn't know I do have a stage 3 uterine prolapse so my uterus is falling out of me um, so that's just fantastic but it is it is what it is I've dealt with this for three years I think three years I don't even remember um my son is almost three so yeah three years 
um, which is crazy that he's almost three. He will be three in about five months, I believe. <sighs> like blows my mind. But anyway, he will be three in just a few more months. Victoria just turned five. Um, we did have her birthday party. We went to an aquarium, I believe I filmed a video for that. I don't remember if I ever posted it. Who knows? Um, but we went to an aquarium. It was so, so, so much fun. Like she had a blast and that's kind of what we figured out we're, we're going to do for the rest of birthdays instead of like planning birthday parties and like dealing with all of the drama that comes along with people not showing up. Um, we're just going to go as like a little family to wherever the kids want to go and do like a little day of it. And that's kind of awesome. Also, I don't think I said I dyed my hair. <laughs> I'm a brunette again. Um, there's my ADHD coming in. <laughs> so yeah. And then we also started homeschool. People have opinions upon opinions about this. Um, so there's that. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm sorry if this makes you angry for some reason, maybe do some research. Um, but we are homeschooling this year and it is truly, truly, truly so much fun. I have seen her absolutely grow and bloom through homeschooling just over the past month that we've started. And it has just been so amazing. I'm going to do an entire sit down video about homeschooling. Um, I have gotten a lot of questions from you guys asking me to do like a video just about homeschooling and talk about homeschooling and what we're doing and all of that type of stuff. I wanted to get like a few months under my belt before I did that just so I have like more material to talk about with you guys. But I am a homeschool teacher. Like what? Who would have thought I would be a homeschool teacher? But yeah, we are homeschooling this year. I don't know how long this is going to last. I don't foresee us ever doing it full time all like until they're a senior in high school like I don't I don't see that however who knows um I've had a couple people ask me why we've done homeschooling and the number one is and I heard this quote from someone on TikTok and they said no one cares more about your child's education than you the parent and it is so 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 true um, I grew up in the public school system and I know how much toxicity and bureaucratic sh bullshit is in the public school system and I did not want my kids to be a part of that. Um, when you're homeschooling, you can teach them your values, your beliefs, all of that type of stuff at home rather than a school that truly doesn't care about your child. We are doing homeschooling. If you guys have any homeschool questions, definitely leave them below if I have the comments turned on. Um, my troll is back. <laughs> Yay, me. Um, this person's been obsessed with me for five years. So like, it's truly just annoying at this point. So um, yeah, my comments have been turned off for a little, a little, a little while now. So anyway, all of my kids are doing great and a little update on that. I will not show any of my kids anywhere now. Um, I have taken my kids completely off social media. So if you guys want to see my kids, I am so sorry. Um, yeah, so that's just how we're going to do things. Um, there was some stuff that happened on TikTok that like just really got me thinking and I decided to take my kids off completely. I don't ever show them. I haven't shown them since January, but I started covering faces in like videos and stuff and then some things happened and it just was not good. So I'm like, I'm taking my kids off completely. So <sighs> yeah, so that is what we are doing with that. I am still on TikTok, you guys. Also, I hit 16,000 followers on TikTok. What? <laughs> it's so crazy to me 
that 16,000 people have started following me over on my TikTok. My TikTok is like my baby. It is like the heart and soul of me. Like it is what I truly love to do. So if you guys want a different type of view of me, definitely go follow my TikTok. It is truly so, so, so much fun. So anyway, also I got a new phone. You guys can see the background is blurred what um i got the iphone 14 so that is what i'm i know isn't that funny hi rayleigh is almost three months old she's smiling and cooing um she is now just over 11 pounds i think i believe she's now about 12 oh bless you i believe she's now about 12 pounds uh this girl is just growing out of everything she is almost out of three to six month clothing my kids have never grown like this which just makes me like really proud like i'm a breastfeeding mom um so that makes me feel really good especially after my last breastfeeding journey if you guys didn't know i was only able to breastfeed my son for five days so there's that but yeah she is thriving we are thriving over here and i'm just like truly living my best life um i've had a couple people ask me like how i'm feeling mentally and i have never felt this good postpartum and I truly think it's because I had such a horrible pregnancy that like coming out of that pregnancy fog is mind blowing. And it is so, so good to feel like myself. I finally feel like myself and I have never been this happy after giving birth ever. Um, I had a couple people be like, I think you have postpartum depression. I promise you I don't. I have literally never been so happy and I'm actually not taking my meds right now. So, um, for my anxiety during my pregnancy, I got put on meds. That is what, that is what took me to the hospital the very first time. Actually, it was technically the second time, but it was for my heart. And because my heart doing, started doing some funky shit, uh, they actually diagnosed me with anxiety. After doing an echo and everything on my heart, everything looked good. And then they just put me on meds. So I've actually been off of those meds for about a month now. Um, I've been like slowly weaning off of them ever since I've given birth. But yeah, for the past month, I've been completely off of them and I feel great. I really, truly do. I know a lot of people don't want to hear that, but like, I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> Sorry. Um, that, that you're not happy that I'm happy. So, um, but anyway, that is kind of the entire update. I am now almost three months postpartum. I am feeling absolutely fabulous. I truly have not felt this way in a very, very long time. Um, my pregnancy, mm, I'm going to get emotional at this part. Um, every single time I talk about my pregnancy and how hard it was, like it makes me emotional because I feel like I missed out on so much life in nine months. Um, I'll never forget, it was about a week after I gave birth. I was just sitting with all three of my babies in our living room, which I had, I wasn't able to do for months. I was not able to sit because of my pelvic bone. And so I remember sitting down and just like, bawling my eyes out because I felt so good. I was able to sit with my kids again. I felt like I had missed out on so much life for nine months and her pregnancy, I never really truly talked about it, but like her pregnancy, I don't even want to go back to it. Like I don't miss a single bit, not even the kicks. Her kicks hurt. Her kicks were so painful. They hurt so badly and it was just not fun. So 
yeah, now I'm coming out of that fog of the pregnancy and now I'm postpartum almost three months. I am almost out of the fourth trimester and it feels so good. It feels so amazing to sit in life right now and say, oh, it's done. So um, I think only people that have had really hard pregnancies will understand that, but truthfully, that's how it feels. And it feels so, so weird to me. Um, so anyway, that is kind of the entire update. I don't think I have anything else to update on. Um, yeah, we're just living our best lives over here. And that's kind of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye guys.